Hey y'all, Jonathan here. Thanks for joining us on our journey as we continue to look at two books, The Catechism of the Catholic Church, and we're doing a Bible study. We're looking for Bible answers to the most common questions about this book. And you can go on our website here, trustworthyword.com backslash Catholic, download this free ebook to get the full study. But these videos, about 30 videos or so, are part of it. Here's our question for today. What is the Catechism of the Catholic Church? What is it? What is this book? Well, it says very clearly within this book that it is the essential and fundamental contents of Catholic doctrine, Catholic belief, that Pope John Paul II declares it to be a sure norm for teaching the faith, thus a valid and legitimate instrument for ecclesial communion. It's very important. And the presentation of this doctrine, he says, must be biblical. That's why we're doing a Bible test to make sure the doctrine is biblical. And he says it's useful reading for all other Christian faithful. Even if you're not a Catholic, reading this book with your Bible in hand will help you to deeply understand the truth of the Bible. And for a deeper understanding of the passages of this book, Pope says we need to refer to scripture texts themselves. Such biblical references are a valuable working tool in catechesis. So what are we doing? We are going from this book into this book to see what the Bible says about it. And so here's what we need to remember. The Bible's very clear that there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of books out there that add to the Bible. So that's a big important question. Does this book go beyond add to or take away from the Bible truth? Another important question. Uh, Proverbs 30, verse five through six reads, every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. Now you might be saying this is a hard thing to do to study the Bible, to study this book, but here's the good news. If you are in Christ, you are a new creation and you are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And here's what the Holy Spirit does. The helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and he will bring to your remembrance what have I, what, all that I have said to you. So as you do this study, as we do this study, my hope and prayer is you talk to the Holy Spirit, that you're a Christian with the Holy Spirit within you, and that you cry out to him for help to teach you all of these things to show you the truth. Now, here's some questions to consider. Does the catechism of the Catholic Church go beyond the teachings of Jesus? Does it add to or take away the teachings of the Bible? Is it biblical? And then the questions I have as I look in the footnotes of a lot of these doctrines, it points back to history. But I've noticed there's a big time gap, about 350 years between some of the early church writings corresponding to the claims of catechism and its authority. And then there's also a lot of internal inconsistencies. In fact, you can go to the end of the study and to see a chapter just on this where this book makes very exclusive claims, but then simultaneously makes very inclusive or pluralistic claims as well. So check this out yourself because we want to know, is this book consistent internally? And then lastly, why do some doctrines of the catechism of the Catholic Church, such as purgatory, indulgences, uh, our relationship with Mary, the saints, and the, age, uh, the angels, why are those claims validated really only later on in church history and mostly by tradition and not by scripture? It's an important question. So at the end here, understand what does John 14, 26 say? about how we access and directly and primarily for help in teaching, we access the Holy Spirit. I, I'm here to help, but you need the helper. You need the Holy Spirit to understand. You don't need to be dependent on a priest or a pastor or a teacher. We have the Holy Spirit as we read and study the Bible together. So I hope you'll take the time to join us in the study. Maybe consider sharing it online, sharing it with loved ones, or maybe doing a Bible study with some loved ones. But thank you for joining me on this journey.